Welcome in adventurers, I'm doing the mix cam video for channel update number 92. I'm calling, I want to thank you, thinking Otis Reddick here. Uh, I want to thank you for getting this channel to be actually a real channel. Started this off in April of last year, 2022, um, and it sort of came out of a Christmas gift over 2021 from a friend of the uh, masterclass things. And there was a, a guy named Ninja talked about starting your channel. Um, and that's how it started. I had tons of material of concerts I'd gone to and thought I'd just post them up there. And then all the education of learning how to do thumbnails and, and comments and um, tags and all the other stuff that goes into making these videos. So, um, and now I'm producing a, a show at Campus Jacks, as you can see over here. Alan Hines, January 24th, the day before NAM begins. So, baby steps turn into little steps of walking and i want to thank you for that and again uh taking you behind the screen scenes um of the dashboard we're at seventeen thousand and two. just happened yesterday and last friday we hit 70 seven hundred thousand views on the channel uh which surprised the hell out of me but uh, more things to be thankful for. And as far as analytics, well, this is all behind the screen stuff here, behind the scenes stuff. Uh, we have, you know, peaks and valleys, uh, but the viewership is way above down here where it used to be in the under 1,000 per day. So uh, 3,009 views in the last 48 hours. That's not too shabby. And I'll get to the numbers in a bit, but uh, this is kind of how I, um, like, here's the top 10 videos as of now. And there's one, two, three recent uploads, four, four recent uploads. And of these, uh, Matteo Mancuso is two of them, the top one and the number eight one. But Alan Hines has the most, has one, two, three, four, technically. That's a little short there. Uh, five. Five of the top ten relate to Alan Hines. That's, oops, hit the wrong one. This one. And I can even go full scale. There it is. Campus Coherence Adventures presents Alan Hines at Campus Jacks. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope some of you people can make it. And the other thing I'm thankful for is um, the viewers. And one in particular who's very recently been almost a constant commenter on even just simple things of like a little smile or heart or something like that on the videos that I post. Thank you, Audrey, and uh, Splashes in 8. So, a little shout out to you. Anyway, on to the numbers. Uh, we were at 1680 uh, adventurers last week, and we jumped to s over into the 1700s, 1702 as of this morning. It was 1700 last night. Um, and we went from 11.2 thousand watch hours to 11.4 thousand watch hours, which is pretty consistent, about 200 per week um, of watch hours. So that's that's good. Uh, last week, what I saw was, uh, let me go back to the references here, one shot deal on Friday, which was uh, at Alva's showroom. And then on Saturday, I went to the Baked Potato and saw Carl, Carl Verhein Band, who I haven't seen in way, way too long. 
Uh, so that was good to see those those friends again. And, uh, okay, Ellen Hines interview in the back, um, and I had the interview with Jennifer Joe Oberly, who I'd seen officially for the first time at Joe Travers Halloween uh, bash on Halloween day evening on the 31st and uh, it it we became so involved in the conversation that the 40 minute allotment of the free zoom shut out shut off so we did another segment and that took up to four, 39 minutes almost the, the whole part of it so um, I hope you watch them. Very informative, very uh, useful information about people in the music business and coping with alcoholism, depression, uh, just the things that can go wrong um, if you don't have a good mental health um, regimen to keep you going. So again, thanks to Jennifer Jo Oberly, and she'll be appearing at Roscoe's um, in Fullerton, I think the 15th of next month. Yes, J. Joe and the Generators with a J. Uh, if you didn't see it, it's, it's this one right here. Hey. Um, that's her own band. It's, I think, a trio with uh, Jimmy Keegan on drums, and I forgot the name of the musician on the uh, uh, guitar, but um, that's that. Oh, and other behind-the-scenes things. Audience. This is kind of um, how the audience is going. Here's the returners, or here's the first-time viewers. So, um, having when we're trying to look for um, shorts really helps boost things a lot, but um, and audience grows from these people. But this is how I've budgeted my release time. I used to try and just fill up any hours. I do it late at night or whatever. But now I'm sort of in a regimen between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., which seems to capture the most um, viewership in that time period. So every two hours. Uh, I'll have a new video posting and I'm premiering it so people will maybe get notice of it and come and watch them. But that's it. And then there's the, the content. These are the things upcoming and scheduled. Oh, and I didn't premiere them. What an idiot. <laughs> I'll take care of that later. Anyway, uh, so that's that. And I'll go back to Alan Hines full screen and um, hit into last week. Again, one shot deal at Alva's on uh, Friday. Saturday was Carl Verheyen at uh, the Baked Potato. Jennifer Joe Oberly uh, interviews part one and two premiered Sunday at noon, as all interviews do. And then what I didn't see uh, Wednesday, there are two shows to see, and it was Wednesday is. Wednesday is my busy day doing this in clubhouses or Zooms or whatever. Uh, so I usually, it's rare unless it's really close to go out and see a show on Wednesdays. But I could have seen Jamie Kimes' Good Ass Band, which I passed because I was going to see the three of them. Uh, it's Pete Griffin, Joe Travers, and Jamie Kime. Uh They were in one-shot deal, so I figured it's different music, but... I'd be seeing them, so um, I felt okay with missing that one. I, again, have problems getting to see Bernie Drizzle. He was playing at Vibrato, which is pricey unless you can snag a, um, a bar, bar seat. There's like a limited a number of bar seats, maybe 10. And there's an upstairs kind of observation with no real seating, so you'd have to stand against the ledge and watch. I could do that. That's about $20 for either situation. But it was Wednesday, and it's a far drive. It's up at the top of Beverly Glen. It's a beautiful spot. It's Herb Albert's uh, club, and it's great sound, great, great venue, great food. 
grade everything except for the price, uh, for me at least. Um, if I get rich, maybe. Uh, but uh, so I didn't see that. I would have liked to. It was his birthday bash as well. So sorry, Bernie. Um, and then Sunday night, again, too exhausted from the other shows. Wanted to see the Pinch Me Band again at the Port Theater where I'd first seen them back on Veterans Day, I think. Memorial, one of those holiday weekends last year. Um, but I still had so much footage from the Knowles concert and the Campus Jacks concert that they had that I haven't even published yet. So I've started publishing those sort of as a, an apology. Thank you to them. Um, so check those out and check out some of their prior ones. And I've still got like, they did three sets at the Knowles. So I have so much material uh, that I haven't gotten to yet. So at, at some point, those will start appearing again. And then uh, Genre Fluid uh, at Baked Potato on Monday. It was really tempted, but again, exhaustion and time and money and all that and Christmas, Thanksgiving week. I passed that up, but Genre Fluid is Julian Coriel, Larry Coriel's son on guitar and vocals. Um, it was going to be Matt Rohde and Travis Carlton on keyboards and bass, um, but they had other things to do at the time, so they got Mitch Foreman on keyboards and Rick Fierbachi on bass, really good substitutes. And then uh, Joel Taylor uh, drums, he was always scheduled for that. So would have liked to have seen that, but again, time, money, energy, distance. I was, I was happy with the two or three that I had. And this week, uh, I'm pushing it a little hard again. Again, tomorrow, Thanksgiving, and thanks to all of you. Hope you have a happy, safe fulfilling Thanksgiving and with friends and family. Um, then Friday, I'll be going two times in a row back up to the spot, the baked potato. Friday, seeing Mike Miller's All Stars, which has um, oh boy, I'm going to have to go back here see the people that are playing um Okay, Mike Miller's superstars have Jimmy Johnson on bass, Chad Wackerman on drums, Walt Fowler and Brandon Fields on trumpet and saxophone, respectively. I just did an interview with Brandon Fields two weeks ago, so you can check the interview on that, local Santa Ana boy. Um, so it's, it's always good seeing those cats playing. And Jimmy Johnson had been with Steve Gadd um, and... Walt Fowler also was in Steve Gadd's band. I think he he was on tour with him. Um, on the recent tour, they had Travis Carlton, which is why he probably couldn't have been at the Genre Fluid show, <coughs> was in the, the band with him. And there's somebody else, I'm not sure. Michael Landau's with him, Steve Gadd. Um, I think the keyboard player is somebody that isn't the normal person in, in Steve Gadd's band. Uh, normally it's Larry Goldings and I, maybe Mitch Foreman? Um, not, not sure right now. That's off the point. I'm, I'm actually seeing Steve Gadd in December, so that's why I'm kind of bringing it up. Um, but anyway, that that's the superstar group. And then Don Randy... And Quest, usually Quest, is um, Jonathan Drizzle, <coughs> Bernie's brother, Bernie's brother, um, on drums. Um, either Gary, Jerry Watts or H. Chris Roy on bass. John DePatty on guitar. And Pete, Pete Corpella, who you just saw with Andrew Sinewick, um, on percussion. And then Don on keyboards. That's, that's usually the primary core group. Um, sometimes John isn't available. Sometimes uh, neither of the two regular rotating bass players are there. Uh, sometimes uh, 
uh, Billy Hulting sits in for Pete. It, it just depends on what gigs the other guys are doing at the time. So that's that's on Saturday. And then Sunday, uh, a local friend through the Leland Scholar Clubhouse group, um, <clears throat> Rick Frost, who I think I post, yeah, I did post some videos from his annual barbecue thing uh, last month or the month before that. I think it was last month. And he's a bass player, and this is a, a different group than his, his normal group. He's sitting in with this group called Quick, Quick Business, and uh, that's going to be at Sunset Beach at a place called Mother's Tavern. Tavern. So hoping to have some good footage from that. Who knows, he might have his new work by that time, so he can show that off. Uh, I'm sure he'd love to have that. It's probably not going to show up until December, but we'll, we'll see. But that's... Uh, the upcoming week that I am aware of. Oh, there's a Denny Lane uh, benefit at the Troubadour. Uh, pri because it's a benefit, it's for his health care costs. He, he's got some um, financial problems or financial responsibilities or, or liabilities that he's looking to cover. So uh, if anybody can contribute to that, uh, there must be some way of, of doing that online. Um, I, I can't go to this because it's $100 for the entrance fee. And I, I, as much as I'd love to be able to give it to, to Denny, I just don't have the funds for that. So, um, And it appears to be some sort of... Um, a lot of people are involved. I think Jennifer Jo Overly is, is involved in that and a bunch of other musicians playing music to raise funds for Denny Lane's um, health costs. So if anybody can um, look out online, I'll, I'll try and find a, a reference and post in the comments below this if I can so that you guys can, um, can give in the spirit of thanks giving for all the music that Denny Lane did with the Moody Blues and with Wings and various other groups and that would be helpful I'm sure um, and then one other possible thing that I might do uh, on Tuesday is uh, Kat Edmonston who's got a very unique voice uh, jazz vocalist she's done some stuff with Lyle Lovett in duets uh, she has a great version of I Only Had a Brain from Wizard of Oz. Um, she has a great song called Lucky, which I first listened to her. I'm very tempted. It's at the Catalina Club up in Hollywood. Then again, it's driving and that sort of thing. So that would finish out the possibilities for this upcoming week. And um, so I think I'm covering just about everything. Oh, um... I mentioned comments. <clears throat> I'm I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm going to put advertisements or, or links inside my comments for uh, Dougal Strings, who uh, I've become associated with from NAM. Uh, some good friends, uh, um, Jonas Helberg and Anna Patan, uh, were friends of the booth, and uh, they've they've been very good friends ever since so I'm sending linkages to their strings um, they have both bass and guitar strings and apparently there, there's a special thing about how when you hit the string it it reverberates at the non oscillating I'll, I'll try and get a link so you can see it uh, but uh, Matteo Mancuso is also an endorser of them, so um, they're worth checking out. And then the other one is, of course, Campus Jacks. Uh, I've seen so many shows, and again, because I'm producing my first show through them, I want to give them a little shout out. So uh, check out their upcoming concerts. Uh, they do have primarily a lot of, like the uh, Terrence Love's Steamer's Jazz uh, is more straight ahead or vocal jazz or maybe big band. You've seen a lot of the posts I, I posted.
post a lot of the things that they do, Tony Guerrero. Um, so there's a lot of footage of, of that kind of genre. And then um, Christopher Burkhart produces a lot of um, shows that are rockabilly, blues, folk oriented. So I'm, I'm looking for my niche to be sort of in between sort of a fusion prog rock area. Uh, things that are complementary but different than what they do. So um, you can check that out. I, I know that I've gone to a couple of Christopher's shows. Um, there's some with Tommy Hockenreiter and uh, Kid Ramos and a more uh, rockabilly uh, thing, uh, style. And then uh, Slade Cleaves and Robbie Folks. I posted videos from them at Campus Jacks. So um, there's a wide range of different things. So those are my unofficial um, shout outs to uh, people who've, who I believe in their products and, and what they put out. And uh, they're not sponsors, but um, I, I like to sponsor them in a sense. So check them out. Uh, also for Campus Jacks, most of the, the shows that they have, you can catch online simulcast and then the day after and forever after uh, you can see the show so you can dig up the concerts that um, and, I've, and they have much better camera angles than I'm able to get I just have the standard straight on full band and the stage set up when I do videos there but I do it song by song by song they just stream the whole show so check them out and until then have a wonderful Thanksgiving much love to all of you for viewing and making the channel what it is and what it's becoming and what it can be. And um, I thank you.